So you're on the fence. Which is better, the 3080 on one end and the 3090 on the other? What should you buy? Let's find out. What is up guys, Tech Titan back here. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on two of my favorite new cards that have just been released to the market. On one end we have the 3080, on the other we have the 3090. So which one is better? Is it a matter of a little bit of FPS? Is it a great difference, a big difference? What is the value for money? You got two cards, both fully capable of running 4K video, both with completely different price points. On one end, you have the 3090, which is almost double the price of the 3080 at a 1905 USD price point. And then on the other end, you have another 4K capable card, at a 895 USD price point. It's no secret that these are the best two cards on the market. Otherwise, how come you can't find them on any site? So which is the best card? Let's run a bench test and find out. So as you guys can see here, we have a much higher FPS rating on the card on the left, which is the 3090. Um, in various areas, you see that the FPS is a lot higher on this card. But on the 3080, we have very high FPS ratings as well. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, it is the third percentile of speed. And then the 3090 comes at the first percentile of speed, which essentially means is the best graphics card out there to this site, which is Benchmark. And what, what, what we're essentially comparing here is the FPS, the speed it's going to be rendering this 4K uh, or intense, more intense graphics at. And as you guys can see here, we have some up to the 300s on the 3090, whereas pre-overclocked on the 3080, we have speeds that are below, just below the 300 mark. Now, as we're getting down farther and farther, you, will got, you guys will see that we have the speed of the 3080 coming up higher than 300 overclocked, and the speed of the 3090 is almost reaching the 400 mark for FPS on a lot of different types of um, tests ran on benchmark. Okay, so now that we've concluded our bench test, what it, what it has really told us is that there, while there are slight, slight performances that are better in the 3090, the 3080 still marks very close at falling under the third percentile mark. Along with the card though, if you do choose to go with the 3090, you're gonna want a really good processor, either the AMD Ryzen or the Intel i9 to make the ultimate gaming experience. So for me, it's not just about the card, but it's about the complete package. So how would this compare to gaming? So you got the 3090 on one end, and then you have the 3080 on the other. And so if you're testing these out for gaming principles, and you have the 3090 versus the 3080, obviously you're going to be seeing a lot better performance and a lot better display performance on the 3090. And then if you go over to the 3080, you'd still be able to get well over 60 FPS on 4K display and 4K output, but it wouldn't be quite as good FPS as the 3090, which has a much higher FPS overclocked and pre-overclocked. So while you can still game on both cards, the 3090 would be a lot better for gaming at higher uh, display settings, as well as if you wanted to get, say, more future-proof computer, and when the newer displays do come out, you do have better chances of running those displays with this 3090 over the 3080. Okay, so now that we've talked about the cards, which sites sell the card? You have bestbuy.com, you have Newegg, and you have NVIDIA's website, which can provide more links for the, where the card is being currently sold. Or, as per my other videos that I have posted in the past, you can check out the links in the description below 
but you can also find these cards through private sellers. Although sometimes there may be a markup on these cards. That's just something to be careful for because as of right now, they are sold out everywhere. However, if you are watching the video in the future, I've linked the, I've put a link down below on where you can find the cards as well as links to the direct sites such as Best Buy, Newegg and Amazon. We have both cards that are roughly five months old, which is about the same age. Okay, so let's talk about the price. So on one computer, you have the 889 mark USD, and on the other graphics card, you have the 1900 mark um, per card USD. I think that the 3080 has a great value for money. So you're getting the 4K gaming experience and you're not breaking the bank entirely. But when you're going to the 3090, you're jeopardizing another almost triple the amount for around the same performance of a card. I do think that if you guys want the latest and greatest, best of the best, then go with the 3090 because you still will be getting that way better performance and more future proofed. But if you're going with the 3080, you can still game in 4K and you have the ability to have like one of the best cards in the world right now. Both cards are also more than capable of rendering both 3D and 4K experiences at great FPSs. So I think that if you guys are gonna be choosing the 3080, it will be more than enough of a card for you guys. And substituting the current price of the card, you guys will have a great time with that card. All right, if you guys liked our content, please give us a like, smash that subscribe, drop us a thumbs up, and remember, we're releasing new content every two days over the next two weeks. Stay tuned, and I'll see you around.